Recently, Mercedes quietly introduced this new feature, the Guard 360 Anti-Theft Alarm System. And it was so quiet that nobody knows about it. It's not even explained in the Mercedes-Benz owner's manual. Yet, I had over 100 comments asking me to explain it. So, the time has come to clear any confusion. In this video, I'll explain what it is, how to use it, and the requirements. Coming up. Here is the newest Mercedes C-Class multimedia screen. But even if your car screen looks different, it works the same way. First, install the Mercedes Me app to get security notifications on your cell phone. Then, touch the home button on your central screen and go into settings. Under vehicle menu, select the open close submenu and then vehicle protection. Inside the vehicle protection area, you can enable or disable the interior motion sensor, which I'll demo in a few minutes. And a tow-away detector triggered whenever someone tries to move your car. Inside the collision notification area, make sure it's turned on, as well as collision photos. Then go to upload collision photos and make sure they upload automatically. Otherwise, the images will be saved to your vehicle only and you won't be able to see them in the cloud or in your smartphone. Once you turn this feature on, you can view all the photos on all devices that have scanned this QR code. So for example, if your car gets stolen, towed or damaged while parked, you'll get immediate notifications on your cell phone with all the photos along with dates and timestamps. Let's exit from here and let me show you how it works. First, let's test the interior motion sensor. So let's make some movements. The sensor does not react for about 10 seconds to ensure no false alarm. Once alarm goes off, you immediately get notifications on your cell phone. The vehicle alarm has been triggered. As you can see, the security system is fully active. And below, you can see the last warning. The interior alarm went off on this date at that time. And also, you can see all three sensors are active. The interior monitor, tow-away detection, and collision detection. The only time you wouldn't want to set the interior motion detector is when you have people or pets inside the car, because the alarm will go off as soon as they move. And now, I'll give a little shake to this car to replicate the accident situation. BAM! It sent a notification to your cell phone that collision is detected. How cool is that? Once you hit OK, the app offers you to scan the QR code. But first, let's go inside the car and see what happened there. So, once you enter the vehicle, you can see a huge notification right in the middle of your multimedia screen. Your vehicle has detected the collision date and time. The Mercedes offers you to call for accident assistance, but I'll cancel for right now. Go to settings, as I showed before. Under the vehicle menu, select open close. And then vehicle protection. And now you have this new selection to manage collision photos. If you don't want to deal with your cell phone, you can download all the images directly into any USB drive or simply delete them all. You can scroll through all the images right from here. You can clearly see this toy sitting on a chair behind the car. Here's the right side of the vehicle. You can see people in front of the car, left side, some more images at different times, etc. So there is a whole bunch of shots. Now, let's go back and select Upload Collision Photos. These pictures are available to download from the cloud for the next 30 days. Or you can scan the QR code with your cell phone and review all those photos later in the Mercedes Me app on all devices which have scanned the QR code. Many people ask me whether this Mercedes Guard 360 requires a Mercedes dashcam in order to take pictures. And the answer is no. 
but it requires the surround view system with parking assist package because Guard 360 uses its cameras. Overall, the Guard 360 degrees anti-theft system is a super cool option. However, it's offered only on the latest Mercedes models. So if your car doesn't have it, don't be upset because you can get a similar or even better protection for your car by installing a dashcam system equipped with the parking mode option. If you like to learn more about car dashcams and what to look for, I have the whole playlist dedicated to just car dashcams. The link is below the video in the description area. And the question of today is, what other Mercedes features would you like me to review? Please let us know in the comment section below.